Hey there, good morning. This faith I live by June 29th, sorrow with hope. 1 Thessalonians 4, 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. To the afflicted ones, I would say, be of good comfort in the hope of the resurrection morning. The waters of which you have been drinking are as bitter to your taste as were the waters of Mara to the children of Israel in the wilderness. But Jesus can make them so sweet with his love. God has provided a balm for every wound. There is a balm in Gilead. There is a physician there. Will you not now as never before study the scriptures? Seek the Lord for wisdom in every emergency. In every trial, plead with Jesus to show you a way out of your troubles. Then your eyes will be open to behold the remedy and to apply to your case the healing promises that have been recorded in his word. In this way, the enemy will find no place to lead you into mourning and unbelief, but instead you will have faith and hope and courage in the Lord. The Holy Spirit will give you clear discernment that you may see and appropriate every blessing that will act as an antidote to grief as a branch of healing to every draught of bitterness that is placed to your lips. Every draught of bitterness will be mingled with the love of Jesus and in place of complaining of the bitterness, you will realize that Jesus' love and grace are so mingled with sorrow that it has been turned into subdued, holy, sanctified joy. When she's Ellen White's talking about her oldest son, when Henry White, our oldest son, lay dying, he said, a bed of pain is a precious place when we have the presence of Jesus. When we are obliged to drink of the bitter waters, turn away from the bitter to the precious and the bright. In trial, grace can give the human soul assurance. And when we stand at the deathbed and see how the Christian can bear suffering and go through the valley of death, we gather strength <clears throat> and we fail not. Neither are we discouraged in leading souls to Jesus. I hope you have a great day today. Live in faith.